Jun Wu was at home playing League of Legends, his teammates suddenly said something big was happening outside. He took off his headphones and walked into the living room. Just then, his phone received a disaster alert. Immediately after, piercing screams could be heard from outside. Jun Wu walked forward, wearing a puzzled expression, he saw people outside frantically running away. It seemed like they had encountered something terrifying. The entire neighborhood turned into chaos within moments. Out of control fire engine rampages. What on earth had happened? Just as Jun Wu was dumbfounded, he suddenly saw a woman walking toward her daughter with a kitchen knife. But her daughter, as if gone insane, lunged at her mother. Jun Wu was petrified by this scene. At that moment, horrifying screams came from outside the door. He cautiously approached the door and took a look through the peephole, but the hallway was empty. Devoid of any person, curiosity got the better of him, and he slightly opened a door. A man forcefully barged in. It was his next door neighbor. He said his roommate had gone mad and he wanted to take refuge here. Jun Wu told him to leave immediately, but the neighbor insisted on using the bathroom first. Jun Wu reluctantly agreed. Just then, a news report was playing on the TV. It said that the entire South Korea had been infected by a zombie virus. Getting bitten or scratched would result in infection. Jun Wu quickly grabbed a sharp knife for self-defense. The neighbor happened to walk out. Jun Wu threatened him to leave quickly. The neighbor desperately tried to explain that he was fine, but his eyes were clearly turning red and his body started contorting. In just a few seconds, he transformed into a zombie, lunging towards Jun Wu. Jun Wu exerted all his strength and managed to push the zombie out of the door. He used the refrigerator to block the entrance, preparing to call his family. He received a text message from his parents. They said they couldn't come home for now and urged Jun Wu to stay alive no matter what. Now he could only rely on himself. Jun Wu didn't know how long he had to hold on. He arranged what little food he had. Early the next morning, he used a drone to survey the situation outside. He discovered that the entire neighborhood had been completely overrun. Every floor, every household had zombies. Night. Jun Wu was awakened by gunshots. He crawled over to take a look. It turned out a female police officer was being attacked by zombies. He watched helplessly as the zombies overwhelmed her, turning her into their feast. Suddenly, he heard a violent banging on the door behind him. Jun Wu, trembling with fear, slowly approached. Holding a baseball bat, a zombie had managed to break into his home. He quickly ran over, using his body to block the refrigerator. But even with all his might, it was in vain. Jun Wu had a sudden inspiration. He sprinted towards the balcony at lightning speed. He climbed over the railing, just as the zombie lunged at him. He seized the opportunity to dodge the attack. The zombie couldn't stop and fell straight down. Although Jun Wu narrowly escaped the danger, but the food in the refrigerator was destroyed. To prevent exposing himself, he sealed off the windows with makeshift barriers. He didn't know how long he could hold on. But now, Jun Wu had to face not only the zombies, but also the scarcity of food. After a grueling 15 days, Jun Wu even started having hallucinations. He saw his parents returning home safe and sound, but when he snapped out of it, he couldn't bear it anymore. He collapsed on the ground, crying in pain. However, a voice message brought him a glimmer of hope. It was from his parents, but the signal inside the house was too weak. Jun Wu had to take a risk and extend his phone outside. Finally, the phone had a faint signal, but it was the final message from his parents. Something bad has happened to them. Already desperate, Jun Wu's heart is now as cold as death. He had lost all motivation to carry on living. Ultimately, Jun Wu made the choice to end his own life. However, just as he kicked away the chair, a beam of red laser suddenly illuminated his face. To his surprise, there was another person still alive. Jun Wu fought desperately, struggling and breaking free from the rope. As he approached, he discovered that it was a beautiful girl. After a brief exchange, the girl told him they could continue their conversation the next morning at 7 o'clock. But when Jun Wu woke up, he realized it was already 11 o'clock. Thankfully, Yu Bin had been observing him all along. She noticed that he was hungry and wanted to bring him some food. She used a baseball to tie a rope and fiercely threw it, but due to her limited strength, it landed on the rain canopy below. Fortunately, Jun Wu had a drone. He skillfully controlled the drone to successfully deliver the rope to the girl. After setting up the ropeway, Yu Bin gave Jun Wu a share of his rations, but just as Jun Wu was eating, he suddenly sensed something was amiss. A firefighter who had turned into a zombie was holding the rope that had been thrown on the ground moments ago. This zombie still retained its habits from when it was alive. With a strong pull, it tripped Yu Bin, causing her to fall unconscious. 
The zombie dragged the rope and started crawling towards Yu Bin's house. Jun Wu wanted to intervene and stop the zombie, but the distance was too far, rendering his efforts futile. This was when the drone came into play once again. Jun Wu continuously disrupted the zombie with the drone, trying to interfere with its progress. Unfortunately, the zombies destroyed the drones. As the zombie was about to climb over the balcony, at a critical moment, Yu Bin regained consciousness. She struck the zombie with a single blow, knocking it down. Seeing Yu Bin escape the danger, Jun Wu's anxious heart was finally relieved. However, the food Yu Bin had given him was running low. Jun Wu made the decision to take the risk and go out to gather supplies. Otherwise, he would eventually starve to death. He equipped himself and cautiously opened the door. Luckily, there were no zombies in the hallway. Jun Wu finds his neighbor's body and successfully obtained the keys. Upon entering the neighbor's apartment, he discovered a corpse lying on the bed. He threw a shoe at it, but there was no response, confident that it was safe. He began searching the house for supplies. Upon opening the refrigerator, a pungent odor hit his nose. Fortunately, he found a jar of peanut butter and an unopened box of biscuits. Jun Wu also discovered that his neighbor was an avid mountaineer, so there must be some useful equipment around. After rummaging through the apartment, Jun Wu found two walkie-talkies. But just then, a zombie suddenly appeared behind him and pounced on him. Jun Wu pushes the zombie away. He ran desperately out of the house. It smells good when you've paid for it with your life. Of course, he have to share the goodies with Yu Bin and send the walkie-talkie too. The two of them were finally able to talk to each other. They talked for a long time after not having spoken for a long time. But happiness is always short-lived. The zombies, who had been quiet, suddenly became agitated for some reason. The two of them were on the ground, not daring to make a sound. But Yu Bin accidentally made some noise. As the zombies closed in step by step, Jun Wu hurriedly asked the girl for her room number, used his expertise as a homebody to connect the phone in Yu Bin's neighboring room. They successfully attracted the attention of the zombies towards that direction. After this time, they didn't want to sit around and wait for the zombies to die. Through observation, Yu Bin saw that there were no zombies on the eighth floor above Jun Wu, so they decided to go there. After the two of them got ready, Yu Bin, who had experience in rock climbing, took the lead. In a single, swift motion, she performed a spinning jump and instantly landed on the ground. The surroundings were filled with zombies. She untangles her rope and runs towards her destination. With her nimble positioning and sharp knife skills, she dodges one zombie after another. But there were too many of them. While fleeing, Yu Bin was accidentally knocked down by a zombie. Then she saw a gun in front of her. When she got up to pick it up, another zombie jumped on her. At the crucial moment, Jun Wu arrives just in time to help her. The two of them ran through the crowd of zombies towards the building. They used the glass door to block the zombies outside and then entered the elevator, heading straight to the 8th floor. They thought they would be safe there, but when Yu Bin turned her head, she saw a large group of zombies suddenly appearing and charging towards them. Jun Wu fought fiercely against the zombies while Yu Bin was pulled into a room by someone. Then a smoke bomb was thrown, and a masked man came to their rescue. However, Yu Bin didn't trust the man in front of her. The man treated them with food and water. But despite being hungry, the two of them dared not eat. It was only after the man ate first that they relaxed their guard and they gobbled it up. The man assured them that there was plenty of food, and they could hold on until the rescue team arrived. Upon hearing about the rescue team, both of them couldn't believe it at first. But when the man heard a broadcast confirming the presence of a rescue team, they were overjoyed. Little did they know that a disaster was about to strike. By the time Yu Bin realized something was wrong, it was already too late. Jun Wu collapsed. It turns out that the uncle doesn't even own the house. He had tampered with the food they just ate. Yu Bin also fell unconscious. The man proceeded to tie them up. Yu Bin was dragged into a room where a zombie was also tied up. The other end of the rope was held by the man. It turned out that the zombie was his wife. And he still loved her dearly. Even though she had turned into a zombie, he didn't hesitate to use living humans as feed for her. The man slowly loosened the rope. And the zombie lunged towards Yu Bin. The room filled with screams. At that moment, Jun Wu regained consciousness. He threatened the man with his gun to open the door, but the man simply let go of the rope. Jun Wu desperately tried to grab it. But despite using all his strength, he couldn't stop it. After a series of screams, the sound in the room abruptly stopped. The man cautiously opened the door, only to be tackled by his zombie wife. Now the couple could be together forever. 
Thoughtful girls keep them together forever. Unexpectedly, the sound of gunfire attracted the zombies from the entire neighborhood, and they swarmed into the building. The two of them felt completely hopeless. Rather than being torn apart by the zombies, they would prefer to take matters into their own hands. Just as Junwoo was about to pull the trigger, the sound of a helicopter filled their ears. They looked out the window and indeed saw a rescue team. It was their only chance of survival. They had to make their way to the rooftop. Junwoo threw out two boxes of cigarettes and Yubin pushed a pram to clear a path. They took the opportunity to run towards the rooftop. With the zombies close behind, Yubin is accidentally caught by a zombie. But Junwoo covers her with his bike. Yubin takes the opportunity to break free. Junwoo instructed her to go to the rooftop and seek help. But when she arrived, she couldn't find the helicopter. Junwoo fought off the approaching zombies and joined her on the rooftop. The two men are once again in desperate straits. Desperate cries for help echoed throughout the neighborhood. The zombies broke through the final line of defense, and the two of them were cornered. They ran out of bullets, and the zombies were closing in. The sound of a propeller suddenly sounded behind them. A helicopter appeared before them, unleashing a powerful firepower that swiftly eliminated a large number of zombies. The two of them were rescued and taken aboard the helicopter, escaping from this terrifying place. As they survived the ordeal, they looked at each other and smiled. Fortunately, they had held on, and in various corners of the city, there were many survivors like them, waiting for rescue. As long as they strive to stay alive, there will always be hope.